Okay guys, I can say the more I ride this bike, the more I like it for sure. Notice I changed the grips on here. Those uh, grips that come stock just want to spin, spin, spin. So I had to get those off there. Get something a little more safer. Uh, unless you like uh, riding a mountain bike with kind of a motocross th throttle on it. things are always spinning basically I just took my hand and uh, pulled the darn things off there they weren't on there very good at all so much better upgrade but this bike is uh, more right more like it the only thing I'm worried about is the shock down here um, I was a little disappointed when Kev Central said we couldn't put a 190 on it uh, I was really one upgrade because I run 190 on my hyper so kind of disappointed with that but uh, we'll see how it feels with the 165 on it once we get it upgraded other than that man I'm telling you this bike it's pretty sick lots of upgrades coming but man she feels really good brakes will need upgraded for sure uh, I'm not a big fan of the brakes do they work? Yeah, they'll slow you down. But, uh, much prefer the hydraulic disc brakes. So, although, guys, I really think this is a great buy, especially like an entry level full suspension, something like that, something somebody wants to upgrade and build. It's a great platform can't wait to start upgrading this thing man because it's going to be pretty sick I hate to say it right now but I do find myself using this damn kickstand more than I thought I would it's kind of nice and convenient to have it <laughs> but it's still coming off I don't know the bike's sick man I don't know can't wait to start upgrading it man Feels pretty cool. Feels pretty cool. Pro Rush has its limitations, but out of the box for something stock from Walmart, pretty good one buy. Can't complain. I like the seat more than I thought I would. It's weird looking, but I don't know. It just seems to fit right. So I'm keeping it. Shortly, but uh, we're definitely going to be doing some brakes have got to go got to lighten this thing up man it's a pig really heavy so there you have it pretty pretty slick new budget full suspension king probably once we get it upgraded If you guys can see that and make it out, if you can see the rear axle must be bent, you can see the, the actual cassette on the freewheel there moving up and down. And then you can kind of hear the bearings grinding. Yeah. Don't think that's supposed to do that. Okay, official weight for the new Mongoose Ledge X1. Looks like it's 40.1 pounds. Definitely heavy, definitely a pig, but we'll get this thing lightened up once we uh, upgrade a few of these parts. But that's the official weight. There she is.
Okay guys, here's a sneak peek of the Mongoose Ledge X2. Not sure exactly how to describe. I found this picture other than I was uh, looking for more information on the Ledge X1 and this picture just happened to pop up on the side. Um, so I quickly took a screenshot of it because I just had a feeling that I wouldn't be able to find the link to it later or any more information about it. So whenever I clicked on the picture, I was able to zoom in and confirm that this bike does have the 29 inch wheels, a 1x8 drivetrain, and it did show lock on grips also. Um, and if you zoomed in, it did say uh, Ledge X2 on the frame. Um, but one thing that was missing out of there was um, it didn't show a dropper post on this particular picture. Um, not sure if this is a final production picture or what it is. Um, just had a feeling it was like a leaked photo or something like that. Um, but hope you enjoyed checking this uh, picture out, and uh, thanks for watching the video today. Please make sure you like and subscribe, and uh, we'll have more content on the Mongoose Ledge X1 here shortly. Thanks, guys.